Hello and welcome to my channel. I am going to do access module 1 and of module project 2. Codic Rehab Associates. This is the first module and we are doing end of the module project. If you want me to do this assignment for you or if you want me to do this complete course for you, including all the Excel, Word, Access, PowerPoint or Outlook assignments, you can contact me either through WhatsApp or email and you can make a deal for your complete course. My WhatsApp number and email is given in the description of this video. My WhatsApp number and email is also showing at the bottom of the screen. You can also help me for your other courses like accounting, management, finance, information technology, computer sciences, all other writing assignments, mathematics, statistics, etc. So now let's start this assignment and solve this assignment step by step. <coughs> so getting started with the assignment, we are supposed to open this access database file and you can download this from your scene gauge or School dashboard. I have already downloaded this one, and we are supposed to use this access database file to get this assignment ready for the submission. We will apply all the instruction steps to all the instruction steps to this database file, and we will make this file in the final form for the submission. So we will move to the main part of the assignment that are the project steps and total steps to solve in this assignment are. Eight. So we are supposed to solve these eight steps to get this assignment ready. So let's move to the step number one. Audic Rehab Associate is a company that helps people rehabilitate their cardiovascular strength. You work as a research analyst to maintain records and to analyze the success of various activities and the programs. <clears throat> At Quadigree Hub Associate, you are developing an access database application to help manage this information. So open the client, open the client table in the data sheet view and add a new record with an ID value of 99887. So basically we are supposed to open the clients table in the data sheet view and then we are supposed to add a new record. So we are supposed to add a new record. And the Double nine double eight seven is the ID. Double nine double eight seven is the ID. <coughs> First name value is Aaron. This one. Then the last name value is the this one. And a date of birth value of this one. So this is the date of birth value, this one. Leave the male female field blank and then close the table box. So we are supposed to leave this column blank and we are supposed to close this data, box, data table. Sorry. So basically in this tab we are supposed to add this record. We have already added this according to the requirements. We have added the information to this table and now we are supposed to close this table and that was all about step number one. So we have solved step number one and now we are going to do next step that is step number two. So step number two is saying that in the navigation pane rename the clients from using client entry as a new name, new form name. So this is the navigation form, navigation form. 
and we are navigation pane and we are supposed to rename the client form so this is the client form and we are supposed to rename this as the client entry as the new form name so we are supposed to add this as the new form name that is the client entry so i will click right click on it and i will set the rename and we will right client entry and press enter and you can see that Client form has been changed to the client entry form as a name. So that was all about step number two. So we have completed two steps of this assignment. <coughs> now we will do step number three. And step number three is saying that. create a new query so now we are supposed to create a new query using the simple query wizard so i will click create and click the query wizard here and we are supposed to use a simple query wizard from here to so select this one so next thing to do is choose the id first name and the last name fields from the client's table so basically we are supposed to add these IDs from the client table, so I will select the client table here. Client table, you can see that I have selected the client table, and then we will start adding the queries, adding the fields from this client table. So, first field to add is the ID. So, select the ID and click this arrow. So, selected field ID, we have selected the ID. Then, first name. First name, then last name. So we were supposed to add the ID, first name, and the last name field from the client table. And you can see that I have added these three fields from the client table. Now click next. Now we are supposed to give a name to this query. So title the new query with the name client listing. So we are supposed to Give this title to the new query client listing and then open the query to view information, a portion of which is shown in the figure one, and then close it. Click finish, and now I will match this to the figure that is given. So you can see that our results are 100% matching to. The figure one client listing query in data sheet view. This is the client listing query in the data sheet view, and you can match that this is exactly matching to the figure one. So that was all about step number three. So we have completed three steps of this assignment so far, and I am doing this assignment step by step for you. Now we will close this one and we will move to our next step that is step number four because we have completed three steps so far. <clears throat> and step number four to do is create a new form using the form wizard. So now we are supposed to create a new form and we will use the form wizard for this one and then choose the ID, first name. And the last name fields in the client table. So basically, we are using the client table to add the fields to the, this form. So I will simply go to the create tab again. And for this tab, we are supposed to use the form wizard. So now we are supposed to use the client table for adding the fields to this table. So we will select the client table from this list. There are different tables given in this list, but we are supposed to use the client table then we are supposed to choose a uh, okay so now we will add the ids to the table so first id is first one first field is the id so select this one and click this arrow so id field has been added to the form so next one is the first name first name then last name okay so now you can see that 
we have added three fields to this form id first name and the last name as given in the instruction so click next now we are supposed to select the columnar layout this is already selected click next one and then title the form client info this should be title of the form open the form to view the information as shown in figure 2 and then close it finish this form and now we will match this to the figure you can see the id is double zero double zero zero double zero double zero zero first name is mary and last name is this one so this is exactly matching to this figure 2 that is the client info form in the form view. So we have completed 5 steps of this assignment so far. And now let me do step number, sorry step number 5 because we have completed 4 steps. So I will simply close this one and then I will move to step number 5. So step number five is saying that create a new report using the report wizard. So now we are supposed to create a new report and for this we are supposed to use the query wizard. Choose the id field, first name and the last name field from the client table. So basically again we are supposed to use the client table to add the fields to this report. So I will simply go to the create and I will click on the report wizard. So first we are supposed to select the table or query on which this report is based. So we are supposed to add the field from the client table. So I will select clients table from this field. So there are two queries and four tables given in the list and we are supposed to use the client table. I will select the clients. Now we are supposed to add ID. So I will add the ID. Then first name and the last name field. So I will add the first name and the last name field and you can see that we have added these three fields as required in the instructions to this form, sorry report. So click next. Do not add any grouping level. So we are not supposed to add any grouping level. We click next. Then sort the record in ascending order by last name. So we are supposed to sort in ascending order by the last name. It is sorted as the ascending order by the last name. Then in ascending order by the first name. Then in ascending order by the first name. And click next. Use a tabular layout and a portrait orientation. Tabular layout and portrait as the orientation that is already selected. Click next. Title the report client listing and preview the report as a portion which is shown in figure 3. So we will give the title as the client listing and finish this one. Now we will match this to the figure that is a client listing report in the report view. And you can see that our report is exactly matching to this one. Figure 3 that is the client listing report layout. This is matching to this one. So basically in this video I have shown you 5 complete steps out of the 8 steps that is almost 70% of the assignment. So for the remaining steps you need to hire me, you need to talk to me on whatsapp or email showing at the bottom of the screen and I will be doing this complete course for you. I request you to subscribe to my channel, like my videos and comment to my videos and you can Hire me for your complete course including all the assignments for the Excel, Word, Access, PowerPoint or Outlook. Thank you so much again.